What's the word, y'all? The Lakers won a championship. Congratulations, Laker Nation. Um, well-deserved championship from, from y'all. I was going to say y'all been suffering, but it's only been 10 years. I mean, there are fans out here like me that it's been over 10 years since we got a championship. But congratulations. I know y'all went through some very, very dark times. So I know you're happy to be back on top. Uh, congratulations to y'all. Uh, don't let nobody tell you anything otherwise because – the people that are saying this championship is less valuable or anything like that, they're just kind of crazy. Every team went into that bubble on an equal playing field, and y'all end up notorious. It's just, it is what it is. Enjoy this moment. The worst thing about it is that, I mean, we have a global pandemic going on, so J.R. Smith and Deion Waiters can't go to the club to celebrate. But I know that bubble. That bubble bar is going up today with those fellas. You know what I'm saying? Be sure to leave a like on the video and subscribe if you're new. I was going to say we do these post-game things every game, but there's no more games for at least a couple months. But this format of video is just me talking about hoops. Will not go away. It just won't be post-game. So leave a like and subscribe. Um, the benefit from subscription is you never miss a video, and I, I don't lose out on that view. You feel me? So let's talk about this game specifically. Um over very very early like i mean you watched the game right I, I don't need to go through the x's and o's or this and that because you knew that it was over very very early on um the big difference is that the lakers started anthony davis and look at that anthony davis you started at center and the team came out the gate good throughout this old all these years i just been trying to get anthony davis to run center and maybe this game six is gonna foreshadow what's coming for the rest of his career because this opens things up so much more when you play center ad just do it just do it more often i know you're gonna have to bang down low a little bit more but whatever it just opens up the game completely and and then that the uh, frank vogel had a different defensive scheme for jimmy Butler after his per amazing performance in game five which really prevented him from doing anything in this game like jimmy Butler put up a stinker not from his own thing but just like there were no shots available the lakers defense was smothering not just jimmy butler but everybody on the court this is the first time i could say that tyler hero really looked 20 and yes you can point out that he did not shoot well in this entire series but i mean like when i say he looked 20 he kind of looked wide-eyed and didn't know what he did wanted to do with the ball the other games the series yes he was not shooting the ball well but at least he wasn't a defensive liability or at least he wasn't a liability with the ball in the sense his playmaking was still okay throughout the series but in game six specifically there are multiple times where he turned the ball over bad shots at the side of the backboard getting the shot blocked it was just his worst game um i'm not gonna see of the bubble because i i can't think back that far but his worst game uh recently again i know he shot bad the entire finals but you get what i'm saying it just wasn't his night um and overall let me let me transition to the Miami Heat. This was a season where fan the Heat fans, you should be super happy. Of course, nothing is better than being champions. You know that well because you were champions a few times in this last decade. Um, but this is a season where, like, if I was a Heat of Miami Heat fan, this would be one of those seasons I tell my kids about. And I know that sounds corny, and it, it probably is, but it's true. Nobody expected you to do what you do. If you look at the power rankings early in the season, before the season started, people had my, the Miami Heat outside of the playoffs. I remember that specifically because I did a video reacting to my fans' takes, like their opinions and what they think about the upcoming season, and a lot of people did predict the Miami Heat to be on the outside looking in. Not only did you make the playoffs, but you got all the way to the finals, gave the LA Lakers a good run, and turned into a six-game series. You should be super, super happy. I, I can't see... I, I can't see a single negative. I mean, the negative thing is that you didn't win a championship, but just like overall, this season is something that you should be proud of. So Heat Nation, Heat players, everything, be happy with the with the thing, the way things went. Uh, Eric Spolster is still a guy. Jimmy Butler is still a guy, even though in this game he was taken out of it. Bam Adebayo, uh, I don't know what to say about this Bam Adebayo game because I feel like a lot of his statistics came when the game was already like 30-point game, but what is he supposed to do, stop playing basketball because he's down by 30? I, I never understood that. Stat padding? I mean, what do you want him to just sit on the bench? You want him to ask for a sub out? He continued to play hard throughout the entire thing, even though it was over. Cool. Um, I wanted to mention Bam because I got in my notes, he doesn't look 100%, then eventually he started to look 100%. I, Rondo, who Rondo? Man, there was a video that I recorded, reacted to a Bleach Report article early in the season where it was talking about – um, uh, Hall of Fame probabilities and stuff and it had Rajon Rondo as like a 40% favorite to make it to the finals 
when other teammates like LeBron was 100% because it's LeBron James. Now he's a four-time champion. Dwight Howard was 100%. All the defensive awards, leading the team to a championship game series. Um, and now he added a championship. And Anthony Davis is already saying, you know, they're already saying that Anthony Davis most likely be a Hall of Famer. And then you have Rondo. And Rondo's a curious case, right? Multiple-time All-Star and one-time champion until tonight. And with the performance he put up in Game 6 and the performances he had throughout the entire course of this playoffs leading up into this, yeah, I, I think Rondo's is, is going to be a stamped Hall of Famer, which is great. Rondo, as a Bulls fan, the loving Rondo is a, a good thing and a bad thing. It's a little bit because there were times where he absolutely destroyed us. Um, and then he came to Chicago and didn't do anything except for those two games where we were up on the one C. Y'all remember that? And so it's just like, I know a lot of Bulls fans that don't like Rondo, and it's just a few of us that really do like Rondo. So I'm happy to see him do that. The fact that the White Howard, the White Howard came into this game with 30 seconds to go and pulled from the logo, and I made a joke on Twitter that I had to delete because people thought I was being serious. Imagine putting a thousand dollars on a Dwight Howard over from three. Obviously, the the over under would be like 0.5 because he's not gonna take a three usually, and you bet a thousand. And then he hits a three with 30 seconds to go in a game that he didn't even play. Can you imagine the payout on that? Anyway, um, I'm, I'm, it's, it's about to get real weird now because there were times for the last couple months where I would literally wake up and there was a basketball game on, you know? And it's, it's over. The season is over. You know, we're not going to have the 12 to 1030 straight games anymore. We're not going to have any basketball for the next couple months. So it's going to be weird to readjust my schedule and, and try to figure out what to fill that time with. Uh, and I just want to thank Adam Silver. I want to thank, I think he said 6,500 people worked the bubble. That is an ins- oh, maybe it was 30, 35 or 65. I know that's a big gap between the two, but it was either 35 or 65. And either way, that is an extreme amount of people to work inside outside the bubble to make this a possibility that is an extreme amount of people to to have and never have a single positive test over the course of three months so thank you to them for for being as dedicated to the final product of basketball thank you to the players because i know it couldn't have been easy to stay in the bubble for that long um so thank you to everybody because you gave the fans what they wanted we have an nba champion we have an nba champion we had basketball when we thought we weren't gonna have it for for five six months we were just chilling you know so congratulations to the Lakers. Be happy, Miami Heat fans. You st- you still got a couple more years, a lot more years. Bam Adebayo is still super young. Jimmy Butler don't look like he's going to decline anytime soon. You still have these pieces. You still have one of the greater coaches in the league. You're going to be great. Um, and as for the content on this channel, obviously there's no more post game. So what can you expect next? Same thing. You know, news will happen. We're about to hit the off season. We're about to hit trades, drafts, signings. Um, of course, I'm gonna give my opinions and all of that stuff. And then even th- there's always gonna be things to talk about related to basketball. Always, 100%. I almost dropped the video the other day when Isaiah Thomas said that he was healthy. Now, Pfft, you, I could talk about Isaiah Thomas for 10 minutes, and people might watch. I don't know if people would watch that. I don't know. But yeah, the content's gonna stay the same. It's just not as reactionary as like a post game. Um, but I appreciate everybody that has shown love on these videos throughout the entire time. I really wish I would have started it earlier than the finals, but it is what it is, man. It is what it is. Let me know what you think about the season. I, I'm thinking about making a video where I go over my favorite moments from the season. It's the longest season ever, like legitimately, like a year long season. Um, so I'm thinking about that. Yeah, congratulations, Lakers fans, NBA fans. We all winning tonight because we saw a champion be crowned. Um, and I'll see y'all in a video, a future video. I already saw a couple of Bleach Report articles. I'm like, yeah, I, mm, that title, I may have to react to that. Love y'all. Bye.